I've just realized that these frames are still empty. I've got to put something in those frames. <laughs> Ignore the empty, uh, empty frames behind me. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Hello everyone, welcome to Question Friday once again. And I'll just start by addressing the elephant that is the room. I'm in the blue bedroom. I am back at Everdeen. Yay! <laughs> uh, I'm so happy to be back, but unfortunately it's only for a couple of days as I dash through between uh, circus contracts, but it is, it is very nice to be here. Uh, I've got my work clothes on. I'm going to go work on a project in just a few minutes, which you will see on Monday's video. But today we're going to be Question Friday, um, and I just want to... I feel like there's a very timely subject that I want to talk about today, uh, and it is kind of a question from your comments. The one I want to talk about today is kind of a, a two-parter. So I am here for just three days at the moment. I am feeling a little stressed because three days is not a long time, and I often, when I'm here for a short time, feel very stressed that I have to complete projects and make progress and show big forward momentum. And it's, I have to use every second of my time and it, it can be very stressful. And so I was feeling quite stressed about that yesterday. And then last night, things just weren't going my way. Uh, everything I tried to do yesterday kind of just crashed and burned. It was just a bad day. And I kind of hit like a, a breaking point last night and, and then this morning I woke up and uh, there was a comment on the YouTube channel, which I do read all of your comments. Uh, I don't always have time to respond to all of them because there's quite a lot of them now and I also am so busy at the moment. <laughs> so busy, but I do read them all. Uh, and there was a comment from someone, I won't say the name, uh, that was basically saying, you own two houses in France, you are rich. And I just want to like talk about that because I think it also relates to the stress that I was talking about and here's why. I do own two houses in France. I am not rich. <laughs> um, I've, we've talked about this before, but I'm, I am a freelance circus artist, which uh, clearly doesn't say wealth. And the reason that I have two houses in France is firstly because houses in France are extremely inexpensive. I paid for this house 84,000 euros. There, when I was looking, were many houses that were under 50,000. They were all smaller than this one. Most of them had work to do. This house has work to do on it. But you can buy a house for what seems like an extremely, extremely low amount in France. And it's, it's not uncommon. The other side of that is that this is not like a luxury purchase. This is not something that was like, I would like to have that for my own enjoyment and then I bought it. This is partly a passion project because I do love this house and I, it is a passion for me to restore it and to put it going forward into the future in a way that that will uh, make it a place that is beautiful and cared for for many years to come. But it's also mainly an investment in my future because when you are a performer that performs with your body, like a dancer or an acrobat or a circus artist, you know that you have to have a plan B. From the minute you start when you are a child, you know that there is going to be a plan B, there's gonna be a time, hopefully many years from now, when I can no longer perform myself, I need to have a career uh, <laughs> fork in the road <laughs> at that point. And this is my plan B in many ways. I want to do aerial workshops here. I want to have people come and stay. I want to teach. I want to train in the in the barn aerial studio if we ever finish that. <laughs> um, but this is this is sort of that you know swerve in the road at some point uh, that will become more of my main source of income than performing myself. So how does that relate to the stress that I've been feeling about like showing results? I think that in our culture, when you make an investment, a sizable investment of your money, there's a lot of pressure to, as quickly as possible, show that it was a good investment to others, to yourself, and and show the returns from that investment, be like, oh yeah, this is gonna pay back what I put into it. And so, 
I often feel quite a lot of pressure of like, I need to get this done. I need to get the house to a point where people can come stay and we can start doing the aerial workshops. I need to get the house to a point where I, I could rent it out and make income that way if I wanted to. Uh, there's just, you know, at the, there's a there's a line after which this could become potentially profitable. And I feel such a push to get to that line that it is quite stressful. And something that I've kind of realized in the last 12 hours <laughs> is that that stress is not producing anything. So I have decided that I'm going to forgive myself from the stress. I am going to accept that sometimes there's a project that takes two days, sometimes there's a project that takes three days, sometimes there's a project that takes two weeks. And it's okay, whatever one of those I am working on. If it's a two day project, great. If it's a two week project, that's also fine. It doesn't have to be finished right now. There's not a time limit that I have to finish everything and start showing financial returns. I'm going to accept that. I'm going to embrace it <laughs> and I'm going to be less stressed. I am also filming this and making this a question Friday so that when I start to feel like I'm wavering in this resolution that I come back and watch this and and remind myself that it's okay to take time. It's okay that I have not started to receive the dividends from this project yet. Uh, and it's okay to, to put myself more forward and, and value my own happiness as much as I value the financial returns from things. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Uh, anyway, hopefully this edits together into some kind of coherent video. Um, but I just thought that, that this was a good day to kind of talk about that. I think it's something that we don't really talk about enough either, like financial stress, because it's kind of a, a taboo topic. <laughs> that is today's question Friday video. Uh, before I go though and start getting to work, I'll just remind you guys to please do subscribe and uh, like videos. Also, you know, the thumbs up also is hugely helpful. And uh, if you don't want to miss any videos, then hit the little bell icon that is, uh, I don't know, down here somewhere. It's in this area below the video. It's a bell because that will alert you when there's a new video. And uh, yeah, that is, there's a fly in here. How is there a fly in here? This room has been closed up for two months. What is happening? Anyway, that is, uh, that's it for today and I'm gonna get to work. And okay, I was gonna end the video there, but I just have to take a moment to point this out. I bought this shirt uh, with the day that I arrived. I went to the grocery store. They had some shirts on sale. This one was $2.50 and I needed a work shirt to get grout and paint all over. So I was like, $2.50, bargain, done. I didn't even look at it. I didn't even really like think about what it says on the front. I've just looked down as I was filming this video and I've realized that it says, treat yourself with kindness. That's kismet. That is like, I, it's so appropriate for today. <laughs> oh, that's great.